Okay, still working with True Green and love it that the dollar weeds are gone. So, yard is looking much better. Still have a star weeds all around and they don't seem to be dying. So, I'm still doing some bagging and I go through and periodically pull out ones I see. But, these are a pain in the butt. And I'm hoping that True Green will actually put something on that will solve these. They just put potassium fertilizer down and I'm hoping that that tightens up the grass we have and squeezes out a lot of the weeds. But when doing that, we have a few sprinkler heads that don't go down unless you push them. Well, a few of them got kicked and one got broke. So this one right here is bit I replaced in the backyard and uh, I have some more to replace. And, and we'll do that with these uh, six sprinkler heads I bought off Amazon. They're K-Rain, not Rainbird. And they're about half the price of Rainbird. So I wanna see how these work. But let's go over what the aeration did to our yard before we get into the installation of these. During the aeration, this is where they actually turned. They were on a uh, ride-on aerator, and they turned it, and they dug up the grass here pretty good. And it was a lot more yellow than this, but it's coming back. Along the edges of our yard is where they it pulled it up, and uh, it killed a lot of it. But we've been uh, watering. Of course, we're in the drought, but been watering to make sure that we can get this to come back as well. Over here was always problematic, but it turned out much worse after the aeration. Now the yard that was uh, in and substantiated held up really good, but this, not so well. We're hoping that uh, with uh, the potassium that you put on and some more water, it will come back. So now that we've gone over the damage done, minus these, let's go fix that sprinkler head. I'm gonna have to find this one because uh, I only saw it when the sprinkler was on. And uh, uh, it's a geyser, so it should be easy to spot. But let's turn the sprinkler on and see where it is. So it's right back behind here. We just tap it on. So when doing this, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this chisel tool and I'm going to cut away some of the grass around the edge of it. Once you have the grass starting to cut away, pull it out. While I'm in here, I'm going to raise this, uh, this one up a bit. Once you're down far enough to the pipe, you can dig down so you can actually raise up the pipe, moving this, straighten it up, whatever you need. Be sure to dig out enough dirt to account for the water that's going to come out of the pipe. And then unscrew it. And then quickly screw the other one back in. Try to avoid getting this dirt into the pipe because it will clog your, your sprinkler head. Tighten it down good. And we're gonna raise this thing up some so we can get, because these are only four inches tall.
and then we're going to have to trim some grass away from it. And there we go. Place a ring back in. Be sure I leave enough space over here so you can edge. And then we'll take some grass, poke it down in the raw dirt. And there he is. Now let's adjust it. Okay, so to adjust these, to adjust the width, you just turn this top right here and it makes the hole bigger and you screw it in to make it smaller. To adjust the top I had to use pliers and then you turn this counterclockwise to reduce the flow clockwise to increase the flow. These are 360 sprayer heads. To adjust where it's pointing you just simply turn it at the base and then you'll get a uh, frame of spray hopefully how you desire it okay so with any service you're gonna have your problems and uh, you know the results of the no dollar weeds and things like that and the, the greener more fuller yard I love now the fixing of uh, the damaged grass over where the uh, aeration pulled it up and the sprinkler heads not a fan of but the sprinkler heads you know, six of them I got for about $20. See link below. If you're looking for great swag, cool gear, check out our blog. See link down below. Hats like this, dine in with Danielle, and we are going to come out with uh, holiday gear for seasonal type gear. That's going to be really cool. And uh, if you like this uh, channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, hit that like button. It's down there. Looks like this, and y'all please take care.